Hey guys, it's Gary Dean. I don't remember what part this is. My updates have been, <laughs> I'm a little lost to be perfectly honest. We've been dipping in and dipping out whenever we can. I've had possession of this shop for right at three months and it is not done. Uh, mostly because I just don't have a ton of time to work on it, which is why I'm burning up funds to have a shop when I'm not using it and it's the slow sh season uh, for everybody who's detailing. Uh, even in Florida, our winters are slow. Just people are different, it's weird. Um, so I'm taking the time to get this shop all straight and as you can see, we've got a lot of work done. Let me show you what I did today because I know that what was done prior to today I haven't uploaded yet. By the time you see this, it will be up, but I think we're on part four or five. Uh, but I will update the title with the correct part. And let me just show you around uh, at what's happening now and basically what we've done today. So I'm about to head out of here, but uh, I believe you saw in the last video, I got most of the lights in the production area done. So I've got 12 of these 8 foot 6500K strips. Uh, I am going to be tidying up some wires. I still have to go up and vacuum every piece of rafter off uh, because there, this was a cabinet shop prior to me getting in here. So I got to do a deep clean of all the dust that's in here still before I can actually work. Uh, but that's kind of the last thing I'm going to do is the fine tuning and cleaning because, well, I'm going to make a mess between now and then. Um, I do want to get that painted up in there. Uh, I don't like the way that it looks, so I want to paint it. Uh, it's not a, a high priority, but I want it to look nice. Um, I still have lots to do, uh, but we are rolling on the river, as they say. So uh, I put up all the cabinets I could put up in this room. Uh, I cannot put any up over here uh, because I need this side staging area to be able to open doors and that kind of thing. And I don't want the cabinets in the way. So I've got all the cabinets up I can put up right now. Uh, we, Caleb was here, my buddy uh, Caleb Phipps. You know, Phipping ain't easy, but it sure is fun. Anyway, my buddy Caleb came into town uh, last week. We went down to Key West. We had a great time, but we did spend a day here at the shop doing a little bit of work. He helped me put that uh, cart together, nothing fancy. I do have another cart I need to put together. Uh, well, uh, that's an actual uh, toolbox. That one is black. I may just take that to my house and buy a green one for in here. Cause I got this green one. I have another green one at home that I'll, I'll most likely bring in. But anyway, uh, I have to still put up my plotter for a window tent. This is going to be the paint booth. I know I've mentioned it already. I'm gonna basically um, separate this side right there on the rafters uh, with some heavy duty um, plastic to seal it off. And then I have this cool stuff that I got from Home Depot. It's a zipper you can add to the plastic. So there'll be a door over there. Um, so anyway, I brought my compressor over today, so that's there. Um, what else? I brought just other random stuff. I did put up that cabinet today in here, but that's all I did in this room. In this room though, we got the ceiling painted finally. Let me just go over here and you can see everything. We got the ceiling all painted, so it looks all nice. Uh, I did start putting up lights in my studio here. Um, because of the attic space, I kind of had to do the lights the long way, which I don't necessarily hate. And if it's just not enough light at the top, there is enough room for me to center another one right in there. So there's the center of the door. And so right here would go a third one if I need it. Now I put, I've hung four right now. Uh, I they do not give you enough of the, basically the extensions to basically made them all together. So I had to order another pack. I have another pack, I just forgot to bring them with me. So I have these kind of just rigged up and plugged up where they're at. So I can put a third one in the center if I need it. I don't know that I will, but we shall see. I am absolutely going to put another one right here and another one right here. So I will have more light in the front and the back than I have currently. Um, and that's kind of where we're at now. 
is I got those up. I do have five more of these lights and I have three four foot uh, sections of a different type of light that I will be using. Probably I'll hang one of those in the back there to give me some uh, light over the utility sink that I'll be swapping this nasty sink out for. So that'll be a much nicer addition and easier for me to clean pads and that kind of thing. Uh, this is well water, it is gross, however, works. Um, so I have covers for all the outlets. I still have to hang the air conditioner, which I do have. It is that guy over there. And I got a nice bracket for the back of it to mount everything. So I still need to put that in. Still got to hook up the sink. I got to finish with the lights. Like I said, I might run three more over here, maybe two. If I run two of them, I'll have two more that I can put in this bigger section right here. I am going to Basically, that is live and hanging there. I don't know what idiot decided that was okay, but um, you always want to use some kind of a good quality tester to test for power. And check this out. Very much live. You can see it turns red when you go up near it. Anyway, um, so I have got to figure out what that goes to. In fact, I can probably figure it out now. I don't know if that's the... Uh... I don't know if that's what it is or not, but it well, looks to be this this switch right here, which turns that light on, powers that. All right, cool. Um, in that case, I may just go ahead and get another fixture and put it in there. Uh, I don't know if that one works or not. I haven't, look, I'm still working on it. Uh, another thing I did today was build my desk. So my desk is all built, nothing fancy there. Just a nice desk. Um, I'm kind of figuring out how I want the layout to be. I got a 50 inch TV there. I'm gonna mount that on that wall. Uh, my desk is going to go in this corner basically. I'm gonna have a nice product display right here. And then uh, actually I may do the product display there so that when I'm filming it can be seen. I do have some nice cabinets. I've got two very nice cabinets I'm gonna run right here. And then I have those three that are left that I'll put wherever I can basically. I uh, still gotta hang the peel board for the window tent and that kind of thing. Uh, I did insulate this door today. I'm gonna go in with some spackling actually, some uh, drywall spackling. And I'm gonna go in here and just fill in some of these gaps. And uh, once that's dry, I'm probably gonna paint it the same color as the walls and that kind of thing. So I got that insulated. I still have, this is the seal for the bottom of the door. Wanna make sure um, all the AC we can keep stays in. You can see that light gap underneath. All right, so I'm probably gonna put a couple of lights in over here, but I will have two left over to put in this big area. Um, I was telling you before uh, the wife called. Anyway, so I got this insulated. I'm gonna fill in some of the cracks and then I'm going to paint this thing to match the rest of the room so it looks nice. I'm probably going to try to find a way to mount a couple of lights on the rear there um, on, or on the door, I think. I'm not sure. Most of the time when I'm working in here, that door will be shut because of the AC and whatnot. So. Anyway, that is the update of the day. Uh, still a lot of work left to do, but it's coming along. This place is getting lit. I love it. All right guys, check out detailjuice.com for all your product needs. Check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation it's a group on Facebook. We talk about only my products, my processes, and what I got going on. And uh, if you got questions for me, 813-846-4406 is my cell. Uh, check me out on Instagram, which is gary.dean.35. I'll put that right here. Thank you guys for your trust and support. Thank you for following me. There's lots of new stuff at detailjuice.com coming March 1st this year, which is the day that I release 
everything every year for that year. So uh, stay tuned for March 1st, and uh, I'm going to keep on keeping on getting this place done. I probably got a full day of work left before it's functional and I can work in here, uh, maybe two, uh, but it is January 23rd right now, and we're, we're, uh, we're getting close to time to start working. I got two more trips that I've got to do where I've got to go out of town before March 1st. And uh, after March 1st, we've got a couple of trips too, um, a couple of work trips that I got to do, but uh, we will do as much as we can before March 1st, but I'm hoping to have everything done by mid-February in here. Uh, so when I do that trip for late tr February, I can come home, do what I got to do and get rocking and rolling uh, when the season starts March 1st. So thank you guys for watching. If you got questions, let me know and I'll bring you back for more updates very soon. Thanks guys.